What's up everybody, it's Adrian here. Welcome to another episode. This time I wanted to talk to you about some problem that I recently had with a function called Windows Inc. So that's a thing you actually enable inside of your uh, tablet properties. So as you may know, you might have seen the previous video, uh, XP Pen sent me a tablet for me to test it. So I did, it was nice. I made a painting and I made a video about it. And then afterwards, that's where the problem came because um, my previous setup no longer worked the same way. So I'm actually gonna switch over to my uh, screen view. You can still see me, right? So, all right. Uh, so I'm gonna load the thing I was talking about. See, you open up this uh, tablet properties thing, you go over to mapping, and this is where you see this little thing here, Windows Inc. It's always been like this for me, and there's a good reason for it. Now, the problem is you can't really have pen pressure unless you have Windows Inc. enabled. So, if I go to make a new file, you can already see it here, right? It, it's almost like a mouse. So there's no pressure. There's no pen pressure whatsoever. No matter which brush you're taking, there's nothing. So uh, you say, okay, then enable it. Okay, it's now enabled. Still doesn't work. Why is it not working now? This is the kind of stuff that happens when you're recording. All right, so I restarted Photoshop and I've now enabled what the hell, bro? Why? Why is that? Windows Inc. is on. It's enabled. Yet, it still doesn't work. So, this defeats entirely the, the, the purpose of this video, because I wanted to show you like what it is like to work with Windows Inc., which is this thing that I hate so much. Whenever you press anything, it shows it right next to the cursor. And look, it's not like a huge thing to be bothered by or whatever, but the main thing in my opinion is the lag that it creates you know there's a huge delay between wow dude it's just unbearable you know it's so much like the circle takes so long like almost a second to appear it's so it's so long and sometimes there, there's this sudden lag out of nowhere for some reason. It, 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 it even crashes Photoshop sometimes for some reason. I don't know why, but it's really, really annoying for me. And so Windows Inc. is not an option. And then of course you go online, you try to search for like problems and how to fix. There's tons of videos explaining to you how to get rid of this. Sometimes when you press, there's that little circle and stuff. You see the little circle? <laughs> Sometimes it has to load. There's a ton of ways to disab uh, disable all of this. There's a lot of Windows pen pressure, pen shortcuts, tablet mode type of options. So I basically try to disable all of them because I don't want them interfering with what I'm doing with this Wacom tablet. So I everything I set it to nothing, never, uh, stuff like that. This is annoying because you really have to spend a lot of time going through each and every single one of these options, testing and seeing which one works better for you. If you don't have a button on your uh, Wacom tablet or something, uh, you can just click here and it brings up the same menu. So this is it. So uh, go to mapping. See how it takes a while to load everything? Like when, I, when I'm clicking, I'm gonna use my mouse just so you can see, you can hear the, the clicks, right? Okay, now it's way faster. Why is it so faster with the mouse? But so slow. You see this? For some reason it's slower. This click is slower than the, the, the mouse click. What the hell? Why is it slower? Then there's this other stuff here, pen and touch. So once you click on this, here's the right click type of thing. You click on it, go to settings, and you disable this one. Because this is what makes you, 
whenever you click and hold the right click on your stylus, it loads that little circle around the, the cursor and it's so annoying because it's like it freezes your cursor for a while and then it brings up the, the menu and everything. So you know what? I accidentally disabled this one like because I was on a I was on a kill streak of like disabled in options and I disabled this one too. And I realized this one is actually important because if I take it away, now I go to Photoshop. Now I come down here and you know what? Big fuck you, dude. Well, listen guys, I promise this is, I forgot what this is called, but it's like when things don't work the same way you're claiming them to work, you know? So I'm trying to show you an issue that doesn't show up now for some reason. Like I'm clicking the right button on my stylus and it works just as normal right now but it wasn't like this before. There was no right click inside of Photoshop. Inside of Photoshop, again, inside of this. All right, you see this? So if I take it away, then in Photoshop, there's no right click. My right click button is just a click. So as long as I press it, I'm drawing. Same as if I'm just pressing down on the stylus same story right and because of the way i have it configured the third button on my stylus is just the same thing so i have three buttons that i can draw with right now how useless is that <laughs> so of course if you disable windows ink uh the right button comes to back to normal but i don't want that to happen so i have to enable this one because i'm i'm working with the windows ink kind of story because i haven't found a work around that stuff so of course you tried everything here disabling enabling um it's lagging so badly it's very laggy and i don't know why but there's no there's no pressure sensitive sensitivity right now even if I enable the Windows Ink. So of course, according to these videos, you know, there's a lot of stories you can do with uh, the, the settings and you go to your, you go to your Windows settings and click on pen and touch and then open this thing. And then, you know what? Actually go inside of your Photoshop settings folder and just find a file called PS user config. And it'll be more like this, right? This is what it was. You're, you're only supposed to change this number. Use system stylus instead of one, set it to zero. So then Photoshop doesn't use the Windows pen and touch properties or something like that, but it uses the Wacom uh, built-in features or something. So look, I don't know exactly technically how it works, but I tried this. So I saved it on top of this one. I changed this file. I changed the zero thing right here and I saved it and nothing happens. It's still the same. So maybe this is why we don't have any pressure sensitivity on my tablet right now. But before installing those XP pen drivers, this is the way this whole thing has been working for like seven years so far. I've never used a Windows Ink for these re reasons that I just mentioned. All the lag, all the, the, the annoying like visual feedback kind of stuff. They make you wait between the clicks. Um, and, and annoying things that I'm not a big fan of, like for instance, clicking and then having to wait. Now it's working fine. And you know, look like that little message right next to the thing or I don't know, selecting something, control T and it doesn't start moving until you've moved it like a certain distance. So you see how far my mouse can go? Until it's it it starts moving finally like why is that it happens with anything like anything you want to move any slider guys it's literally everything any slider you want to move um any anything any selection you want to move you see so from the moment you click 
See, with your mouse... See, with my mouse, it is instant. I can move it like a few pixels only. Like, let's, let's zoom in even more. You see this? I, I can just move it right here. With my stylus, it's an entirely different story. Like, my stylus, my cursor has to travel like 50 pixels or something like that before it can move it. And that's very annoying because when you want to make like slight changes, like let's say this is what these um, lines are like, okay? And you want to kind of bring them back. You want to put them here and then you want to do this and you're like, oh shit, why is that? Why is it not? Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh. Let me... All right, finally. See how many steps that took? Why? Why does it have to be that way? Also, like when you're just scrolling through different options, like when they're these, I don't know, this kind of stuff. You see that effect? What the hell is that? Like, it's it's like that blue line is like breaking. It's like not updating in, in real time in a way. The, the area around the cursor is has like a square that loads first and then the rest of the options. It also happens like here, for instance. You see this? Check out what, where the cursor is. It's like that clipping effect. It's so, so annoying. If I disable this, that goes away. See, now all the blue lines load at the same time. It's the entire line. It's no longer like parts of it. And it works everywhere. You see? And whenever you select something, you can just move it right away. Look, look at these small changes. See, it's instant. So that's Windows Ink in a nutshell for you all. That's why I hate it and I can't get rid of it because all these websites that, that claim to fix this issue, it doesn't work for some reason. Back in the days when I set up this file right here, which if it doesn't exist, you can create it. You create a new text document and then you name it like this and then inside of it you just write this and that's that's pretty much it but instead of one it has to be zero you've seen what happens if i put a zero in there right it doesn't work anymore for me and i don't understand why and it happened ever since i installed those drivers from xp pen obviously needless to say i uninstall those drivers and now this doesn't work either so i don't understand what's the the, the issue honestly i don't know what to do <laughs> Because I can't work like this. It's slowing me down. It's like there's something that's off place somewhere. And you're constantly aware of that. The only option left is to actually uninstall my Wacom drivers and reinstall them. I went over to Wacom and got the same drivers that I have right here, which is if you click on this, you'll get the version that you're using. Uh, and also, I need to say that I've tried a lot of combinations. Like <laughs> anything you can think about, like what about Windows Ink, but without the pressure, whatever, you know, and other programs. Yes, I tried that. It, it doesn't make any difference. So just to sum this up real quick for you guys, the, the issue is that I've been using everything on this setup without Windows Ink so far because and now I remember every time I had to reinstall or whatever or change my computer or when I buy a new computer or whatever I did, you know, um, every time there was a change or like uh, I changed the computer or I changed the software or I changed whatever, I remember I always had to go look up how to fix this because it's something that you do once and then you forget about it because it works forever. So I did the file thing, the PS user config type of file and it worked and i was like peacefully happily working on my drawings and my paintings and everything until this happened so now the same way i've been working so far doesn't work anymore it, it wants me to use the windows ink kind of stuff and i don't want to because you've seen all the the annoying features it has it really turns me off you know <laughs> you know maybe i have to uninstall the drivers bruh i don't really want to do this Okay, so it's currently uninstalling it. Dude, I'm really nervous. As you can see, it's asking me to restart the computer. So uh, so I've already installed the drivers. I had to restart the computer once again. 
and I'm finally here. So, okay, I like what I'm seeing. I like what I'm seeing right now. But wait a minute. I'm going to restrict my mapping to this monitor only. I might have to customize this whole thing once again. I could have saved all the, the settings actually. So I'm going to add Photoshop to this list. I'm going to leave the Windows Ink just to see how it behaves. You make the circle. Of course, as usual, there's the little panels. And if we want to, let's say, select this area and move it. Yep, same story. So it's it's very annoying. So I'm, I'm going to try to turn it off. Let's go to mapping. Click this off. And of course, we don't have this. We don't have anything. We have no pressure sensitivity. Fuck. But don't worry. Don't you worry, because this is where we go to users, app data, roaming, Adobe. You go to your Photoshop settings folder and you find this thing. You change it to zero. You save it. You close Photoshop now. You reboot Photoshop and now the big moment of truth. This is no Windows Ink with the file correctly. This is exactly what my computer was like before. Oh, it works. It works. It was the drivers. The drivers somehow got messed up. Oh man, this is it. Yes. <laughs> Love it. Finally, we made it work. All right, now I just have to fix all the settings, like to put them back the way they were before. I'm so dumb for not saving that uh, that file, which contains the settings. Apparently you can save it somehow. Problem fixed. Dude, I was so scared about this. I was like so annoyed by all of this happening. Like everything's going so well and then boom, that stuff happens. But anyway, um, it's now fixed. So that's it. Windows Inc. I don't like it. Uh, let me know how you deal with it and what you have to do if you use it in your day-to-day -day tasks and stuff like that. So yeah, that was it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. But until then, please remember to stay creative, take care of yourselves, enjoy your time, and have a good one. Bye-bye, guys.